We are a paladin, and obviously we're playing a evil character, so... Oh, don't you hit that. Don't hit that. Run away from it. Don't... Yo, what is up, everybody? I'm the one and only Goblin Carney, and welcome to a very special episode of Baldur's Gate 3. As the title probably is a very big giveaway, uh, yeah, the community has voted on practically everything. And by everything, I mean class, race, uh, partner, love interest. And that character is going to be the character that we are going to take from start to finish in the new Goblin Carney channel, Baldur's Gate 3. I know this game has been out for a while, and it's still, you know, pretty popular, and I, it's one of my favorite games. I've beaten it once. I've not done all the stuff that there is to do, so I'm very excited to get the community involved, and they have voted, and they have, uh, well, the results. I have them written down, and a lot of them still need to be determined. Uh, so we're going to jump right into this, and uh, please join me as uh, we see what our character turns into. So, right off the bat, the only, the only vote, right, the only poll that was unanimous is that this character is going to be a paladin, right? So, it is going to be a paladin. That is 100%. That, that was unanimous. Everything else, I got to roll for. I had to download a uh, dice app just to make sure that, you know, everyone knows I'm not fudging these rolls in real D&D. You know, we're, we got to do it by the books. So, Paladin. So, we're going to decide on race. And the three races that got tied in the community polls are Drow, Halfling, and Gnome. All right, so I got I got the little dice roller app. I downloaded it. All right, we're going to roll D4. And if it's a 4, I'm just going to re-roll it. But currently, right now, Drow is number 1, Halfling is 2, and Gnome is 3. Okay, so... Uh, it's on D4. Can I just pre I press the square? I'm just going to assume I press the square. I'm going to hold up for you guys. It's probably going to be out of focus, but okay. Right. Uh, boop. Two? What's two? Halfling. All right. So our character is going... That's not... That's a half-elf. We don't want a half-elf. We want a halfling. We want a halfling. This is, this is off to a great start. I was personally hoping for a drow, but you know what? Community voted. Can't go against it. Um, second, we're going to go ahead and choose the alignment. So what actually happened was this was also tied and it's pretty much tied between chaotic good and chaotic evil, right? That's a big jump for you who don't actually know too much about D and D that's eesh. either way. This character is going to be chaotic and if it's chaotic evil, we're playing probably one of the worst of the worst characters throughout this entire playthrough. And I've never done anything like that. All right. So we're going to do this again. We're going to use the same D4. And we're just going to do odds and evens. Odds is chaotic good. Evens is chaotic evil. All right. Here's the same D4. It's still on two from our halfling. I'm going to put that in front of you. And tap the... Oh, my God, my phone. Ooh, there we go. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. Four. What is that? Odds. Evens. Evens is chaotic evil. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. Cool. <laughs> all right community voted all right so we're gonna play this character chaotic evil which is how it is all right so then the last one that we're gonna decide well still gotta decide what gender it is uh is who our partner is and this was narrowed down to three all right some of you who play this game you know who these characters are some of you who don't you'll find out soon enough if you keep watching the stream uh we got Astarian at one, Lazel at two, and Mintharia, Minthara? Minthara at three, and yeah, all right. If you know, you know, you don't, you don't. So one is Astarian, Lazel is two, and Minthara is three. Once again, our handy dandy D4, fours are rerolls. Simple as that. All right, let me get this in focus again. Oh God, my phone's doing its thing again. Ooh. Have it again. Oh God, what is it? Three. Oh my god. We have just created probably the most evil halfling character that's ever existed. And real quick, we're just going to finally finish this up and decide what gender it's going to be. 
Uh, odds, male, evens, female. All right, same before. Uh, duh. What was it? Four. Four. Odds, male, evens, female. Right? I don't. I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. I have all my things written down on a coffee sheet or a coffee filter. If that tells you anything about how professional I am. Right. All right. So I'm gonna finish. Um, Finish all the details on our character, and then we're going to hop right into this, guys. All right, and we are back. Um, Yeah, this is what I had to come up with. Um, As you can see, I kind of tried to keep with the green theme because, you know, goblins. And uh, obviously this character is going to be mean, a bad character. So, uh, you know, I tried to find the best mohawk we could find, try to find the best culty... Uh, face paint we could find you know give him some punky earrings you know make him look like they just escaped from prison that kind of vibe but this is our character love him hate him whatever they're probably going to run around the game half the game with a helmet on anyway so uh let's proceed and honestly you know i could have thought of a vote a poll or something for the name but we're just going to go with goblin i know it's confusing since there's goblins in the game but sure our character goblin yeah all right, all right, the halfling goblin. Here we go, and I know we got a. Yeah, I need a guardian. Hoody doody, hoody badoo. Is there just a randomize? Can I choose? Yeah. All right, the next one, the next one I click. I'm not even gonna look at the guardian. All right, I'm gonna literally click randomize, and then I'm just gonna venture forth. That way, when the guardian shows up in the game, I don't know what's going on. I I I, I like the idea, not what's going on. So uh, here we go. Uh, randomize and venture forth. Um, yeah. All right, let's get into this with our little dude goblin. Um, I'm honestly really excited to do this. I've been waiting for a long time. These polls have actually been up for uh, several weeks now. So I'm really glad that now we have a conclusion, even though it's not necessarily what I wanted. It's what you wanted. And that's really the whole point of everything that I do, right? It's not for me, it's for you. I am going to skip the tutorial, though. I'm sorry for any of you who wanted to see me go through the tutorial. I'm so, so, so sorry. I'm just sick of the tutorial. So I'll see you in a second. All right. Tutorial. Finally over. And the only reason I didn't shut... Oh, hey. There's our lady. That's going to be our lady. Yeah. That's who you voted on. Not, not the red guy, the, that. I, also, I'm, as I mentioned, she is the most evil companion you can have, just, just FYI. Also, I learned in the tutorial, halflings are very stubby and don't move as much as other uh, players, or at least it felt that way. So, uh, this is going to be fun. I've actually never played a halfling in D&D. &D or in a game, so it's uh, definitely out of my comfort zone. Especially, uh... I don't know, 90s band... Prison break escapee halfling. And on that day evil was brought to the Zord Coast in a small package known as Goblin. As you wake, the tadpole squirms in your skull. I can't imagine what that would feel like. Other than the infection, you're more or less intact. A miracle, given everything you've been through. Yeah, but it'll but all be for nothing if you don't find help soon. A miracle. The tadpole is a death sentence, and the clock is ticking. You need a cure. Oh, I need a cure. Everyone needs a cure. Everyone Come, needs something. something mm, Loot some dead bodies. I hope. I'm not sure how this is going to go because I don't really remember, like, a lot of the dialogue. You know, I do remember some, but as far as, like, certain things I can choose. And to play this chaotic evil, I don't know what's going to happen. I honestly am kind of excited about it. Hmm. 
just so you know, that Shadow Heart, mm -mm, number one. I can't. She is normally my uh, main squeeze, and I can't believe that I'm probably gonna end up killing her in this in this run. So, uh, reach for artifact. We're chaotic. We're evil. We don't really give a shite about her. We only care about the shiny thing. This is the mentality we must adopt. I mean, we look evil. We look like a little. What goblin. are you doing? Oh, you know. Well, let's see if you. Uh, oh. I wanted to see if you had anything worth taking. Well, that's honest of you. Don't do it again. I'll give you a pass this time, considering I owe you my life. And speaking of, how are we alive? Hmm. True. You made it. Seems like we're the lucky ones, judging by all the corpses strewn about. I remember the ship. I remember falling. Then nothing. Odd, isn't it? Uh, what happened to the gift friend? Do they have any idea where we are? No what? Yeah, first no things what? first. We need supplies, shelter, and most of all, a healer. We might have escaped, but we still have these little monsters in our heads. Uh, sit together. Do you have any other? Are I have to draw a good friend and be better than me. Yeah. We need each other. I'm just really making sure that I stick. read. Can't that way I company. stay true to the pole and play as much as a chaotic evil character as possible. One thing. I could have. Just before we go. I wanted to thank you again. Okay, okay. It would have been all too easy for you to run. Lead the way. I didn't know if I really had a choice in not freeing her. You know, the, the biggest reason I... Alright. <laughs> biggest reason I did save her and kind of still want her instead of pushing them away is even though my person's chaotic evil, they might do that. But... Can I use that yet? Yeah. But I needed Shadow Heart's uh, command ability to get us that sword. So, uh, I consider that a win in my book. You can be chaotic evil, but you don't have to be chaotic stupid. You can be chaotic, sporadic. Just not all time stupid. Alright. Let's loot around a bit. Stick our head where it doesn't belong with our stubby little halfling legs. Loot all these people, loot their fishes. Uh, go pierce, just little blat some brains around. More of those wretched things. You'll, oh my god. Come on, I just want to hit you. Don't run away. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Experience, though. We believe in experience. Come on. You know, I just thought of something. Is there a way to um vicious filth? Best is, keep some distance or this will be a short fight. Is there a way to increase the speed? Like uh, you know how in some games you can uh, change the text dialogue to go really fast? Is there a way to change the speed of combat? Nothing will stand in my way. You know, it may look a little janky, but is it going to like speed things up like Hey, leveled up. Breathe deep and move. We're a fierce little goblin with a giant fiery sword. You can move. You fight well. Perhaps our survival isn't such a distant prospect. Hercier. Wonder if the gods are watching me. Oh, no. So, <laughs> we are a paladin, and. Obviously, we're playing a evil character, right, so... Oh, don't you hit that. Don't you hit that. Run away from it. Don't... No. I promise I did not mean to click on that. I don't know why I clicked on it. I really, really don't know why I clicked on that. I promise you. Where is this gonna put us? Oh my god. 
Oh, the editing is gonna be a nightmare for this, isn't it? All right, we're walking past it. Okay, we're out of the way. Saving. Not doing that again, hopefully not. All right. Uh, Do I not have a single lockpick on me? <coughs> I can't do that. Do we just get a leather helmet? I'll put on a leather helmet. What's this look like? Yes. Yes. We are prepared. We are prepared for anything. We have a leather cap on our heads. Yes. Anything even up there? I don't think I've ever been up there. I guess not. Oh, I wondered where he was. I knew he was up here somewhere. Oh boy! Oh boy! Harry, I've got one of those brain things cornered. There, in the grass. You can kill it, can't you? Like you killed the others. Uh. Um, yeah, kill it yourself. I was hoping for a kind soul. Well, not to worry. Ah! Well, this is a fun situation, isn't it? Um, push yourself. Oh, what happens if I do nothing? Can I go back? I'd love to go back and just do nothing while I'm here. Uh, eh. Man, I wouldn't do nothing. I think that would have been interesting. We are strong for our size. I saw you on the ship, strutting about whilst I was trapped in that pot. What did you and those tentacled freaks do to me? Ah, uh, you know, tentacle things, freaky things, I'd assume. Uh, I've done nothing to you yet. You arrogant little. Uh, we are a Your little. Mind twists. Definitely arrogant. You're looking out of unfamiliar eyes, prowling dark, busy streets. You try to hold the memory, but it fades to the worm. Peer and the light, brain. The fear. <laughs> what was that? What's going on? worm connected yeah the worm of course that explains things somewhat and to think I was ready to decorate the ground with your innards <laughs> apologies Okay, mm. like you you better more off of it apologies glad to see we all cut up now Chaotic, evil, and I'm out of wine and flowers, so I hope an introduction will suffice. My name's Astarian. I was in Baldur's Gate when those beasts snatched me. Something that I find interesting is when I played this game for the very first time, it was, you know, still very early, you know, a few days after it came out, and I didn't expect the internet to blow up over Astarian. But they have. If you know, you know. But they have. And he's kind of grown on me, too. It was interesting that the poll, he was in the top three. So, uh, yeah, I was kind of curious. But, well, nope. Not this time around. Uh, tell me your name, your story, and if yourself, you're a Baldurian, too. Mm, nod. The strong and silent type. All right. Never, no. Please tell me you at least know something about these worms. Can I just nod again? That'd be funny. Uh, no, you don't have... I want them in your heads. But yeah. Turn us into. <laughs> of course, it'll turn me into a monster. 
What else did I expect? Although... It hasn't happened yet. If we can find an expert, someone that can control these things, there might still be time. Mm hmm, an expert. Hmm. You know, yeah. I was ready to go this alone, but maybe sticking with the herd isn't such a bad idea. And you seem like a useful person a to know. Useful person. All right. I'm useful. I accept. Lead on. Lead on, he says. Lead on. Now, something, <laughs> something I've been thinking about. Um. The thing I've been thinking about is uh, if we did get a chaotic character, I feel like we lose a lot of. Uh... Oh hi. That thing's bound to be dangerous. You approach a lot of companions, and I'm curious to see who are the first few to just start dropping like You could end its life here and now if only you didn't feel compassion. Do I feel compassion? Compassion. Uh, chaotic, right? Won't give in to your emotions. This isn't right. Step away. Give in to the emotions. Poor creatures on the brink of death, but there's still time. This poor You'd creature. give your life to save it, to nurse it back to health. This sweet little baby. But then the feeling slips. The creature's mind seems to focus elsewhere. I need more caffeine if I'm going to play a chaotic character. I'm just letting you guys know right now. Um. The Take advantage of that. The lies exhausted, free. defeated. Its eyes, wet orange pearls, radiate malice. Uh, leave it to die slowly. Close his eyes forever. Leave it to die slowly. Bye. Not my problem. That's what you get. That's what you get. That's what. Is that? Goobin? That's Goobin? I look at the Goobin. Goblins over there. Worth checking for supplies, maybe. I feel like this whole series is going to be an editing nightmare, so I really don't know where things are going to edit and when they're going to begin, and what you're going to see, what you're not going to see. But, um. What's going on with that room? Oh, God. Looks unstable somehow. Yeah. Remember what I said a few minutes ago about uh, losing companions? If you have not seen the, the Baldur's Gate 3 playthrough that me and my friend are currently doing, it looks slightly dangerous. Spoilers, because playing a chaotic character, I know exactly what is about to happen here. Oh boy. I better get used to the fact that we are not going to have a whole lot of people who like us. A hand? A hand? Anyone? A hand, he says, and a hand we shall give him. Slap the hand. It's far too dangerous. Leave us to drop the hand. Slap the hand! Slap a slap. Crisp half hand. Perhaps I should have clarified. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A helping mm -hmm. hand. Oh. Anyone? Mm -hmm. Yeah, just ask you. Hey, just your average traveler stuck between realms. Pull me out, and we'll get properly introduced. Uh, not far too dangerous. Leave him to his fate. Yeah. No. Bye. Can't make it out by myself. I'll perish in here. I'll perish. Well. We are off to a great start, aren't we? 
Where's the rest of our merry band of uh, dinguses who are probably all gonna get killed? Oh my god. I may have already mentioned this, but I know we're a paladin. Zoru was we right. are not going to stay a paladin of vengeance for long. There's no way. The thing's dangerous. Leave it for the goblins to kill. And if it escapes, how will you... Oh, a guest. Your skull pounds in response to the prisoner's white-hot stare. Her lips don't move, yet you hear her voice. Get a character I also didn't think I'd that would grow on me is Lazelle. And she has grown on me quite a bit. I don't know. What is chaotic here? Don't worry, I know. Why should I help you? Shoot the trap down. We must kill it before it harms anyone. That is chaotic. What's gonna happen? That's a 24. She's right. No one's safe if that thing goes loose. Not even us. Damaze? Enough. Mayonnaise. Lower the trap. The Ready demise. Well. You've but one chance. Join me or die. Oh, that's cool. I actually didn't know I could uh, attack Lazelle right off the bat like this. Um, obviously, though, I like Lazelle because she's just a psychopath, and I, we're going to choose her. And, um, yeah, a lot of tieflings are going to die, and it's really sad because I like a lot of them. Well. No! You lying rat! Yep, it's that kind of game. We are just a bunch of meanie heads, and I apologize. Not really. I don't know how to play a Starion, because I usually never have them in my party. Oh well. Probably missed a very good opportunity for a sneak attack, but that's okay. Ouch. There we go. There she blows again. Oh, okay. Man, they're just going after you. Ow. Um. Well, that was gruesome. Yes, here. Yeah, I guess I should have leveled up. Uh, level two is still something that gets us some good stuff, and I shouldn't just scoff at that. We'll do that after this. My little stubby halfling legs. I can't get there in time. Just jump. Just do something. You may be evil, but you're still small. Can't afford to let up. There we go. A spasm grips your chest. Your strength falters. Ah, yeah. Grows within this is what I was paladin. talking about, about not being a paladin of vengeance Something for long. has been lost. You have broken your oath, paladin. At the close of day, I will be waiting for you. We have much to discuss. Oi, they. Knew that wasn't gonna last long, but that's okay. We get to try some new things. Never played an Oathbreaker Paladin before either. This is just a bunch of firsts for everyone. Why is it saying I'm in dialogue? I'm not. In... All right. Um. I'm. Who's talking? Do I need to talk to Shadow? What's going on? 
The tadpole hasn't yet scrambled all your senses. Auspicious. But the longer we wait, the more it consumes. My people possess the cure for this infection. I must find a crash. You will join me. Wow. I won't lie, I do like the demanding side. Um, join me then, but I'll be watching you closely. Uh. You do not have the authority. Yeah. Defer to your leader. Mm, no. No. Looking ahead. No, no, no. No, 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 no I don't think so. Uh, let's level up. I mean, is it even worth me leveling up since I'm. I don't know, did it take away my Paladin of Vengeance already? Uh, defensive is really good. You get. Uh, armor class will work. Weapon. When you roll a one or two on damage die for an attack. Do a melee weapon. The die is rerolled. Dang it! I really don't know what to go because defense is really good. It's just a bonus to armor class while wearing armor. Ah, that's too good. I can always change this later down the road. Although that always max out our damage. I think we're gonna go with that defensive. Because we're not going to be using a shield, because we are going to be using a two-hander, so I think it kind of like balances itself out, if you know what I mean. Just for now, anyway, we can always change it. Not too worried about it. Hmm, Shadow Heart. So what I have kind of made up my mind about is I'm not going to multiply. I'm not. We're going to stay. Paladin, that was uh, what was voted on. You gotta say Paladin. Uh, as for the rest, I can do whatever. So, I can change them up as much as I want, right. but as what far now? as... Why are you not in the group? The tadpole hasn't checked, but the long... My yeah, we already talked careful. about this. She obviously sees your kindness as weakness. All right. Don't mm. let her take advantage. You may as well suggest a wyvern bow to worms. The cure I offer will suffice as thanks. Hmm. You have yep, not trust I, your I... judgment, but I won't trust her. Not until I've gotten the measure of her. You have a sharp tongue, elf. Would that your mind proved its equal. My god, these people are gonna Hark, die, aren't elf. they? I suppose the finer details are lost on a creature like you. Oh my god. Come. The Horned Ones mentioned a camp. One there, this Zoru, has seen Githyanki. A crash must be near. We will ask this Zoru where he has seen my kin. Sure. Ooh, in it. Oh my god, I forgot to level up Lazel because she wasn't even in the party yet. Editing, 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 editing. All over the place. Here we go. Yeah, let's go. Breathe deep. Let's go, move. let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Oh, short rest. Enough time wasted. Uh, we're gonna go over here real quick. Just cause we'll get this out of the way. We'll kill some goblins. Even though we are a goblin, we're gonna go over here and kill some goblins. Right? Okay. Okay. What's going on? There we go. Also don't know how many of these cutscenes I gotta leave them because you know gotta give you guys something to watch. But I also feel bad about interrupting this poor guy. What's this guy? Goblins are on our tail. Open the but as I also said, I feel like Baldur's Gate's been out for a hot minute. So Where is the druids? I don't really want to skip cutscenes. No He's waving an arrow around like a nini wackus. I had a dog that looked like that once. It was kind of weird. By the nine hells, open the gates! <coughs> open the gates! 
Close the gates. Open the gates just a little bit. Dude. I really did have a dog that looked like that. I promise you I had a dog that looked like that. If I can ever find the pictures, I will show them. I will show them. I don't think that would work. You know, you see that a lot in movies where they, like, try to catch the gate. And it's like, I just don't. I don't know if that's how that works. Maybe I just don't know enough about, uh. Oh my god, he's gonna hate us. Provoke he's gonna... Blade. We are going to lose all of our companions. I'm starting to realize that real quick. We are going to lose every last companion except for like... Two, three? Man, I'm really curious to see how this kind of playthrough goes through because I've never played an evil character. It's not gonna work, is it? Yes. Just shoot it. What are you doing? Don't use me. Just shoot it. Oh, and you missed. Swift and lethal. Right. Lazel, I'll do something. There you go. She's good. That's. There, there has got to be a speed up for uh, combat, isn't there? There has got to be. I'll check that out. Maybe the next time uh, we're, we uh, record, there'll be a speed up. Mm, yeah. They always pass that. That's a good thing. They always pass that. Hmm. I also don't know how that was exciting. This is... Like, Baldur's Gate is a really good game. I just don't know what people actually watch for Baldur's Gate. I feel like all the things I've seen about Baldur's Gate, though, like other people know, it's always been about the dating sim part of it. It's never actually been about the, uh... Oh my god, what just happened? It's never been about the strategic combat side of it. It's just been the dating sim side of things. What do you mean I don't have enough movement speed? What do you mean? Why am I... Oh, there's crap all over the place. I see. I see what happened. He had to throw some kind of poo bomb all over the place. At least I'm gonna beat you in the back of the head with my sword. And you pass that too. Alright, Sarian. Now try it. Okay. You did better. You did better. You're doing good. You're doing good, pal. Don't slip and fall. That's just the last thing we want you to do. Don't break that beautiful little face of yours. Alright. Uh, we want you then. Basil. Get in there. You don't slip or fall either. That sucks. We don't want you to break your face either. That's just not, not what we're about. Man, everybody's missing. He's not missing. You, you've been nice. Alright. Alright, pick yourself back up, Shell. Yep. Critical miss. What did I expect? Critical hit. Hey, look at that guy. He's doing a lot better than any of us. Wow. Man, what is going on? Uh, excuse me. Uh, no, thank you. Yeah, that's what you get. Uh, go back down oh, here way. with everybody else. Join the fray and all that. 
Man, what is this guy doing? He's not really doing a whole lot. Hey. I'm fury. I am death. Yeah, you are, Lazelle. Yeah, you are. Taste my fury. Yeah, they didn't taste a whole lot. Let's try again. Yeah. Taste a bit shit. These guys, oh, there are children here, you fool! Oh my god, we was running for our lives. You led them straight to us, and you let them take the druid, too. Unbelievable! <laughs> Every playthrough I've played, I've used uh, the checks to level out the hotheads, and it's so weird that I'm going to be doing this in a uh, just a Stirring the pot kind of deal. Uh, guns didn't take any prisoners. You can get caught up on my payment. Eh. Uh, where's there's one gun? There's ten. All right, let's yeah. She's right. We should scrum while we can. Right. Lead the goblins here, then leave the rest of us to fight them off. You coward! What's it gonna take to shut you up, Horns? Oh, that's a little rude, isn't the it? The human's eye twitches. He's about to blow. Mm, take a swing at the tiefling and blow at the human. And if you want to take uh, both of you down, I will. Otherwise, knock it off. Uh, I'm gonna stand back and watch. I think that's the most chaotic, evil thing to do in this whole situation. I could act. I don't stand back and watch. You do have at it. Should have done that a long time ago. Arrogant prick had it out for me from day one. No one leaves my people out cold. Well. Uh, so you knock him out cold instead. Clever. That's using your noggin, isn't it? Only way he shut that hole under his nose. He was right, though. Coming back to this hellhole was a mistake no amount of gold can put right. I'd rather face another round of goblins than stay in this pit. Well, you're just, uh... Goblins with the same vigor he had for that teeth for once. Let's try to avoid... You good? You gotta wait. <clears throat> Regression. Hello. A cheap shot. I should have expected that. Yeah. Uh... True to form and good riddance. This grove has troubles enough. Whatever your business, I'd see to it quickly. The druids are forcing everyone out. This attack will only strengthen their resolve. Right, don't be staying long. I just need to find a healer. <clears throat> Goblin right. got you. The druid Halsin's a renowned healer, but he didn't make it back from Aradin's expedition. If it's not too serious, you could try his apprentice, Nettie. She's with the other druids in the inner grove. They've started a ritual to cut the grove off from the world outside. We can't stay, but we'll be slaughtered if we leave. We are no fighters. Well, well, uh, I don't know anything else to do with stop. Uh, but, but you're here, please. Thank you, if you'll excuse me. Yep. All right. Now that we made it here, uh, I think we're going to go take a long rest. That's this what is we're going to do. I care about our lives, our future. No. 
Who didn't know that? Dip out of there while we can. All right, let's go face the music. We knew this was coming. We knew this was coming them all away. Hello, how's it going? I have been waiting for you. I felt the moment of your liberation. Yep. The shedding of your bond. How do I get that? You called to me. I am here to show you the way. The way. Show me the way. Who are you? Oh, I don't need your help, stranger. I'll find for myself. What was that? I'm gonna move the riddles. What do you have to say? Spit it out. I offer no riddles. Nor do I offer clarity. Well. Where you must walk, there are no signposts. There are no maps. Well. It is a path I have walked since the moment I fell. Now. You will walk it too. Yeah, it didn't take long at all, did it? <laughs> you swore to deliver vengeance. To hunt down those who had wronged. And ensure they felt the sting of justice. Yep. Tell me. Why did you abandon your oath? Hmm. I had no choice. I had to follow against the act of conscience. I tried to take the dogma I already believed in. And I'm then telling my action as consequences. I no longer believe in the teachings. I have no explanations. Why you doing I no longer believe in the teachings. I am not teaching my actions. Had unexpected consequences. Uh, yeah, I'm the sure. Of there isn't one that's just like heck it. Quite a to fan know of the it. reason for your fall is perhaps to know the shape of things to come. The shape. Take comfort in your shape undoing. Button. I, like you, abandoned my cause. But much can still be achieved. Yep. Your oath is broken. Yep. The light within you fades. Yup. A new power is awakening. Yup. Tell me more about these powers. Is there any way I can reclaim my oath? What oath did you swear? Uh, bending your oath. I'm ready. I will become an oath breaker. Sure. Do not resist. Surrender and be remade. Ooh. Well, this is cool. I like the this. Born of a vile source. These powers can be used for good or ill. We know which way we're going to use these powers. And that's all your fault, the people who voted. That is 100% on you. Your oath no longer binds you. The choice is yours alone. So, Brad! There we go. What is this? Spiteful suffering. Heck y'all! With that, I think that's a really great start. Uh, as I said, I don't know how much I'm gonna edit this. Great start, though. I'm actually really excited to play this. Uh, already, there are things that I have not seen before. Dialogue options, uh, cutscenes, I have never seen before <laughs> playing this game. As I said, I've never played an evil character. So, this is gonna be fun. Especially a little pint-sized evil character. This is going to be really exciting. And as I said, this is gonna be a start to finish. Um, definitely a whole lot of editing, so, uh, just strap in and enjoy the ride with me, please. And, um, honestly, I don't know, maybe there will come a time when there are more votes, uh, for bigger decisions down the road on what to do. That could be kind of cool. I, uh, love to get the community involved. It's not a, uh, big community by any means, but, you know, eventually when the channel grows, uh, start to have, like, live streams and that kind of stuff. But till then, we'll, we'll keep doing some of these polls and that kind of stuff. It's real fun. I like getting the community involved with this, so. Thank you guys so much for watching, and, uh, as always, till next time, catch you later.